Not only is the Christmas tree finally up, but just across the street from us, a truly iconic toy store is finally back open for business. Just three years after shutting its flagship's doors, the famed FAO Schwartz is once again open. Yes, this store is so great. It really has something for every kid out there, and it's reopening at a time when other toy stores have closed their doors because of online competition. It officially opened yesterday, but I got the chance to go inside this week before it was open to customers. It's every child's dream. Whoa! A toy chest come to life. A place where astronauts, magicians, and mad scientists walk among us. Welcome back to FAO Schwartz. For more than 150 years, America's oldest toy store brought magic to New York City and Hollywood, setting the stage for movies like Home Alone 2, The Smurfs, and of course, Big. But in 2015, with the rise of online shopping and digital entertainment, the Fifth Avenue flagship just couldn't compete anymore. FAO Schwartz here in New York City will close in July. And now, three years later, the iconic toy brand is back, relaunching a new immersive store with a new home here at Rockefeller Center. Every corner of our store will be something to look at, something to experience. I want to see phones put away in pockets, and I want to see eyes as big as, you know, balloons. <laughs> the idea is to give kids and their parents what they can't get online, a theatrical shopping experience where actors dressed as characters roam the store. All of these actors had to audition. Well, we want the most theatrical and whimsical team. We really want our customers to feel like they're in a place where they can engage and be silly and have fun. Perfect. Just like that, you made a light. That's Magician Eric do. Brown worked at the flagship store before it closed. It was genuinely the best job I've ever had. What is it, what is it about it that you love? The place, not to, not to be punny, but the place is magic. It really is. For me, the opportunity to get to share what I love with people from around the world is just the most incredible thing. And on a larger than life piano, dancer Stella Omblad showed off her best and biggest moves. How did you learn how to do this piano situation? Uh, well, I have a dance background, so it came a little easier as well as playing piano with my fingers when I was younger. And now auditions are over because it is showtime. I was lucky enough to get a sneak peek before any customers. Check out our dance map piano. Oh my gosh, my kids would love this. Not my kids. I would love it. I yes. Mean, oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. This is it? Yes. I've been waiting for this. We're Can ready I play? for you. Yes. Oh, my friend. <laughs> this is Stella. Hi, Stella. Hi, you got the job. Yes, I did. It's official. And a lesson from Stella herself. Chopsticks? Yes. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, you want to learn? I want to learn. This is so fun. I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. Watch me mess this up now. Yay! Yay! All right, I'm in. I just showed this. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, Peter. Wait. Now I was going to do a little Beethoven. All right, I don't know it as well, so my thing is going to try it. Ready? Yeah. Now move your left foot. Yes. And then this one. Da, da. This In. one. Yeah. <laughs> that works. Did you just leave across the entire panel? I was going to do a little Tchaikovsky, but I keep it easy this it's time. It's really right. addicting, fun. and you can take this home. How much put does some, that cost? Do you have put any some, idea? No. Just put some AA batteries in it. <laughs> and then you just play along. Right, it's worth it. I just want to keep playing. There's some kids shoulder tapping their parents as we speak right now. <laughs>